Several weeks ago, there were photos circulating of President Trump's hands with bruising, and I'm continuing to get a lot of questions about this. He told the Wall Street Journal that he takes a higher daily dose of aspirin than his doctors advise, attributing the bruising on his hands to that choice. And the president said, quote, they say aspirin is good for thinning out blood and I don't want thick blood pouring through my heart. They'd rather me take the smaller one. I take the larger one. What it does do is it causes bruising, end quote. From a medical standpoint, the president's correct that aspirin can cause bruising, especially at higher doses and particularly in older adults. So let's clarify what we know medically. Aspirin works by inhibiting platelets, which thins the blood and increases the risk of bleeding under the skin showing up as easy bruising. Years ago, aspirin was commonly used for primary prevention, meaning to prevent first heart attack or stroke. But current evidence shows that for most people, the risks outweigh the benefits. Today, aspirin is reserved for secondary prevention, meaning patients who've already had a heart attack or stroke or have known coronary artery disease. When aspirin is indicated, research consistently shows that 81 milligrams is just as effective as 325 milligrams with significantly fewer bleeding side effects. Taking the higher dose of 325 milligrams does not provide additional cardiovascular protection. It only increases the risk of bruising and bleeding. This is why the guidelines recommend 81 milligram dose and stress that aspirin therapy should always be individualized and guided by a physician, especially as we age. If you'd like to know if my practice is right for you, click the link in my bio to book a call. For more heart healthy tips, keep following your friendly neighborhood cardiologist.